Hi everyone, welcome to the PageTie screencast. During the next few minutes I will show you how to create a website using PageTie. In this example I will, I will create my portfolio. So let's call it fly down design. Pick a subdomain. The subdomain is, is used both for your public URL, the default one, which you can change later, and for your administration page. When you create a website you have to um, allocate a certain amount of pages and uploads because with each account comes a fixed number of pages and fixed amount of uploads so when you create a website you have to say how many pages and how many uploads that website is allowed to take let's say 10 pages and 100 megabyte save we can now edit the website. A website is mainly composed of three pieces layouts which defines what goes before and after the content of the page, the pages of course, and includes. Includes are used to create CSS and JavaScript files. Have a look at the settings of my new website. Here is the title of the website, the host which you can change and then have a CNAME point to your host. I want to append to the title of each page at fly down design and I don't want to use markdown for my pages. I will now upload a few files I need to create my website. Instead of uploading say 10, 20 or 30 files, you can compress them and then upload your archive and unzip it. And this is what I'm going to do. You see, I upload one file and now I have three images I need to create my website. I can now create a couple of includes. Uh, first of all, the CSS, which is going to style my website um, here's the code you see I have uh, a few images in this CSS which was which were using my old website images so now I have to change them to use page ties up uh, Digitize files. So here's the logo. I get uh, this tag which will output the URL to the file. Here is another one. Contab. I didn't copy the tag. Paste it in. And finally the footer. Now save the include. I'm going to create another include, this time a JavaScript file, because I'm going to need uh, a couple of JavaScript functions in my in my code. Let's call it basic JavaScript. Again, I'm going to paste in some some code. Save the include. I can now create a layout for my website. Let's close the layout portfolio. I want to include the files I have created before. This tag here will defines where where the page should go. So I have portion of my layout and the bottom portion of my layout. I will also need to add um, a couple of lines to the head section of the page since page tie is automatically generating the body HTML head section of the 
of the page. So here is more help and save it. Finally, we can now create a page. It's going to be the index of my website. Let's call it Welcome to my portfolio and name it index. I want to use the portfolio layout I created before and I'm going to paste the code again. Every time you you save a, a new version of the, of, of, of page of an include or of a layout, a new version is created, and you can go back in time and see what changes you did to to the counter. I can now save the page again just to make sure. You see, I have another version. We can now have a look at the page and see how it looks. You see, it took just a few minutes, and here we have a working website. And I hope you will decide to sign up and try Pitch Tie yourself. If you need any help, uh, please send an email to support at pitchtie.com. Thank you.